Welcome to our educational video about supply and demand. Supply and demand, also known as market forces, affects everything from your daily coffee to your yearly salary. It is all about desire versus availability, how much we want something, and how much of it is out there. When these forces are in balance, prices are stable. But when they're not, that's when things get interesting. Demand is like an appetite, the more you crave something, the more you're willing to pay for it. But here's the catch, if the price goes up, your craving might just settle down. You will think twice before buying that fancy pair of shoes, or that extra cup of coffee. This tug of war between want and price, is what we call the demand relationship. Now, let's flip the coin and meet supply. Imagine you are selling lemonade. If you are making good money, you will want to sell more, won't you? But if prices drop suddenly, squeezing lemons doesn't feel that sweet. This is what we call the supply relationship. The higher the price, the more sellers are willing to offer. In other words, suppliers want to supply more when prices are high, but not when they are low. Imagine two lines on a graph, one for supply, and the other for demand. The two lines meet, at a point, we call equilibrium. It's like a sweet spot, where the amount of goods being made, matches what people want to buy, and the price feels just right. But life is dynamic, that is, life is ever moving and changing, and this spot can shift. It is a delicate balance. What happens when the balance tips, that is, when the scales of supply and demand are no longer in equilibrium? If supply is greater than demand, we have a surplus, and prices usually go down. But if demand is greater than supply, we face a shortage, and prices rise. It is a constant seesaw of quantities and prices, affecting our wallets every day. From medieval scholars to modern-day economists, the principles of supply and demand have been long recognized. They're the invisible hand in market economies, driving prices. But not everywhere. In places where there is a command economy, like the former Soviet Union in the past, and North Korea today, the government sets prices, leading to big problems. It is clear, supply and demand have a powerful story, and an even stronger presence in our lives.